In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a link in bio landing page for Instagram and TikTok. A link in bio page is a page that allows you to show multiple links to social media fans on a single web page. When you have a social media account like TikTok or Instagram, you are not allowed to add so many links into your bio. So this is where a link in bio landing page comes in handy, especially if you want to add so many links to one particular page where you want to redirect your users to. This feature comes in handy, especially when you want to promote affiliate links. There are so many free platforms out there you can use to create your link in bio landing page. You can use platforms like Linktree, OmniLink, Feedlink, and many more. But if you have a WordPress website, you can do it inside WordPress where you can monitor your analytics inside your own website. And this is exactly what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. On this one landing page, users can click here to go to my YouTube channel. As you can see right here, I exit from here. They can also visit my website from here. They can have access to my top 10 websites they can build in 2022. They can also go ahead and make a video request or download my free Elementor template kits. So if you want to create something like this for your social media accounts, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build this link in bio landing page using Elementor. You can also go ahead and use the Gutenberg Blocks editor to create your landing page. To get started, first of all, I need to create a page. To do that, I hover on new, then I go ahead and click on page. In here, I give my page a title. I'll just enter in links. You can enter whatever you want, or maybe I will say my links. However, the slag, I don't want it to be my links. I'll just remove mine from here so that it will be links. So at the end of the day, my link in bio landing page will read as dikupages.com slash links. Next, I click on publish, publish again. The page is published, then I go ahead and edit it with Elementor. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and remove the header and the footer. You don't want to have them on your link in bio landing page. We don't also need this my links as the title of our page. To do away with everything, what I need to do is come over to settings. and the page layout, I drop down the arrow, then I go ahead and choose Elementor Canvas. And the page will reload. Now I have a clean slate in order to start building my link in bio landing page. The next thing I want to do is add a section. So I click on add new section and I'm going to use a single column section. Next thing I want to do is go over to advanced and I'm going to go ahead and add a margin of 80 at top and at bottom so that I have a space at top and at bottom. Next, I go over to widgets and I'm going to go ahead and drag in the image widget. And I go ahead and choose my image upload files, select files. This is the image I want to use. I select it and I click on open. It is uploaded. I click on insert media. I don't want it this big. So I go over to style and the maximum width. I'm going to give it a width of maybe 30 and I'll go ahead and add a border radius of 100. I need it to be in a circular form. So what I can do is go ahead and reduce the maximum width to maybe 25 or 20. Okay, I think 18 will do. Next, I go back to widgets and I'm going to go ahead and drag in the heading widget under the image. Then I go ahead and enter in my text. This is where you may want to enter your name, but for me, I'm going to use the name of my YouTube channel. Then I go ahead and center it. Next, I decrease the size of the text. So I go over to style. And the typography, I click on the pencil icon right here, and I'm going to go ahead and make it 25. Next, I go back to widgets, and I'm going to go ahead and drag in the text editor, and I'll go ahead and enter in my text. I've entered my text. Next, I go over to style, and I'm going to go ahead and align it to center. Next, I go back to widgets, then I go ahead and add in a button widget right under my text editor. Before I enter my text, as well as links, first of all, I want to customize the button. And the first thing I'm going to do is make it justified so that you stretch across. Next, I change the size from small to large. Then I go over to style. The text color, I'm going to make it white and I'm going to choose from my global colors. 
the background color you can choose whatever color you want for me i'm going to choose from my global colors and i want to choose this green border radius i don't need border radius if i hide the panel you see that there's some border radius i don't need that so what i do is i click in here then i'll enter in zero perfect next i go over to hover the text color will be white and then the background color I'm going to choose the same green, but this time around, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter, like this. Perfect. Now the design of my button is done. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. It's time to enter in my text. So I go back to content and the text. I enter in my text go to my youtube channel here so i want to make it in such a way that if my visitors click on this button it will take them to my youtube channel so in here i enter the link of my youtube channel then i'm going to go ahead and click on the links options right here then i open link in a new tab and i'm done with the first button i want to add another button so what i do is i right click on the first one then i click on duplicate i click on it to edit it so this one will go to my website. Then I'll go ahead and enter in my URL. If I click on the link options, you see that open in a new window is already selected because we have performed the settings on the first button. I'll add another button to so duplicate this one. I select it to edit. I take off this top 10 websites to build in 2022. And I can link it to a playlist on my YouTube channel. For now, I'll just enter hashtag. Similarly, you can go ahead and add as many buttons as you want. So I'll pause the video and add two more buttons and get back to you. All right, I've added two more buttons where users can make a video request and also download free Elementor template kits. I click on updates. Let's take a look. This is looking beautiful already. But I don't need the buttons this wide. So what I do is I go back to the Elementor editor. Then I go ahead and click on edit column right here. Then I click on advanced. I unlink the values under padding. Right, I make it 300. And then left, I make it 300. I update. Let's take a look. Perfect. Let's see how it will look on tablet and mobile devices. So I click on responsive mode right here. First of all, let's take a look at tablet. I make sure edit column is selected. Then under pattern, I unlink the values. Then right, I make it 20, left 20, so that I will add a briefing space at left and right. Awesome. Let's see how it will come up on mobile. It is looking cool already on mobile. Maybe I want to increase the size of the image on mobile. And I think 33 is cool. I update. And let's take a look. I exit out of here. And let's view the page in real time. Perfect. So with this, I can add this link to my social media platforms, that is Instagram or TikTok. So that when people land on this page, we can go to any of these five links right here, which I won't get the opportunity to promote in my bio. So that's it on how to create a link in bio landing page for Instagram and TikTok using Elementor. That's it for now. In the meantime, make sure you stick around to watch any of the two videos on your screen right now. Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.